Hello. Hello. Uh, so uh, a lot has happened since the last time we spoke in 2020. Are you feeling better about uh, covering the news this year? Hey, look, I, I feel more hopeful, more optimistic. There's always bad news. That's just that's what the, the, the nature of news is. But I think that people are missing out on the fact that I see more positive consciousness around you know, race, gender, the environment, the climate. Like there's that's out there and it's getting bigger every day. And also uh, politics is still kind of crazy. But on the technology side, there's all these new things that are coming down the pipe, crypto stuff, people are trying to go to Mars. If you combine all the positive economic innovation with all of the you know, positive social awareness, you can have a much better future. And so I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm happy about it. Nobody's going to steal my joy. Yeah, well, that's a good attitude. That's a, have to, you have to focus on the positive. You got to. Absolutely. And uh, uh, tomorrow uh, marks one year since George Floyd's murder. Um, and you were on the show right after. Uh, what do you say about that? Yeah, I feel good about the verdict. I, I also feel uh, that we need to change the laws. You know, you can't, you know, everything was kind of like, the whole country was kind of like hanging by a thread for like one jury. Like, that, that, was, that's too, that's, that's, that was scary. Everybody, we were afraid to hope uh, that the jury would do the right thing. So obviously we need to change the laws. Uh, I know that uh, Representative uh, Congress, uh, Congresswoman uh, Karen Bass, uh, Tim Scott and others in Congress are trying to change the laws so that we have you know, just better policing. I think everybody just wants the police to obey the law. Uh, the, the ones who do wrong should, should be punished. Uh, that shouldn't be too much to ask, and I think we can get there. Yeah, it, it really was interesting how uh, we were all, like, the, the right thing should have been really easy. We all shouldn't have been on edge like that, but uh, so many times it's gone the other way. So Absolutely. that's why I think it was such a relief when, when the, right, the, the right verdict came in. Um, you were emotional when the election was called for Biden and your comments went viral. And it wasn't the first time that that happened. Um, I think it's a beautiful thing. And you credit your mom with encouraging your emotions. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, look, I, I, I shed some tears on TV. And, um, you know, my, I always tell people, y'all should be glad when I, when I don't cry on television. <laughs> like that, <laughs> like with all the bad stuff that goes on. Like the, when, I, when I don't cry, I think I'm doing a good job. Um, but, you know, my mom, I, I wasn't raised to be one of these tough guys. You know, my mom said, you know, cry as much as you need to, only as much as you have to, but cry as much as you need to. And that, that was a big moment of relief. You know, I, I had worked, uh, I've worked with both sides. I've worked with the Trump administration, Obama administration, and others. Uh, but I just, I felt a big relief, you know, that my, my text messages while we were waiting to, to go on air started blowing up my Muslim friends, my Latino and Latina friends. You know, just people felt this wave of relief. And, you know, you got to stay human. I mean, you know that. If, you, if you're on TV and you're just reading the, the talking points that somebody gave you, why are you there? And, you know, I felt it and I, it came out. Uh, but uh, I, I, I promise I will not cry on this show, no matter what you do. Well, <laughs> you can cry. You can cry. Whatever. I mean, I agree with you. I think there's something. I mean, I don't know why people should ever, especially, you know, it's for some reason not OK for men to cry, period, and then much less on TV. And I think if you're emotional and something is, is you know, uh, and if it's real and raw and honest, there, there's nothing wrong with showing that. I think people need to be more honest with their emotions and, and how they're feeling. It, it's... I agree. I feel the same. Yeah. You know, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm raising uh, sons. You know, my dad, you know, he was a tough guy, military guy. I don't think he ever hugged me or told me he loved me until I was a grown man. You know, and I don't think that's right. You know, with my boys, I kiss them, I hug them. You know, they're, you know, teenagers now, they don't like it as much. But, you know, I just feel that... Um, uh, when you lock this stuff up inside, it curdles. And then it starts to smell bad and everybody else can tell. Uh, you know, I, I just think that we should, we should be moving toward a world where people can just be themselves and people can just let their hearts be open. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm gonna, when I can no longer be human on TV, I don't want to be on TV. Yeah, I think we're, we, we hopefully will go in that direction because we've gone so far in the other direction with criticism and judgment and everybody's got to be and think exactly alike. And if you don't think like me, then you're my enemy. And we've got to go to the other side of, of compassion and empathy and kindness and, and allowing people to be exactly who they are. We have to be heading in that direction or we're in trouble. We really are. Hey. 
Y Thank your you sons must be so proud of, of you. Are they, are they going to go into uh, politics or, or journalism, or what are they into? Well, they're more, more into sports, and, uh, and, and I, I would like to think that they're proud of me, but then it turns out not so much. So, for instance, <laughs> I got a chance to take um, uh, them to see uh, that they were at an event. You know, Beyonce was there, Jay-Z was there. They got their pictures made, et cetera. So I'm feeling like, hey, I'm the man. I'm the man. Take them home to see their mom. The little guy goes up to, my, up, up, up to, uh, to Janet and says, um, you know, I, 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 I feel really good about this night. You know, having a dad that's like a, uh, a D-list a D celebrity means you can meet real stars. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, I was like, you know, you can't, you know, no matter what you do, your kids are never going to be impressed. Uh, yeah. But I'm impressed with them. They're well, good guys. They need to know that a D-list celebrity could not get them to Beyonce and, and Jay-Z. That's... Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. You're good, You're good for my self-esteem. Yeah. They're not. Yeah, well, <laughs> you, you show them this clip. Um, all right, Van, we have to take a break. We'll be back. Tell everybody about the, uh, the documentary. Oh, good. So um, it's called The First Step. And... Uh, you know, only one really beautiful thing happened during the Trump administration, and we filmed it. It was when everybody came together to pass criminal justice reform. And the film is, is a, it's, it's about kind of impossible things. It's a documentary. It's very honest. It's very raw. It, you know, it's impossible to pass legislation uh, most of the time to help people in prison. Uh, it's impossible to get grassroots Trump supporters and grassroots uh, progressives to work together on something. Uh, but we did it. And it's really hard to, to film that stuff and to show it in an honest way. And so it's just a, it's a, it's uplifting. It's, it's beautiful. It's raw. It has, you know, the people who, who didn't like the bill on both sides, people who did like the bill on both sides. Uh, it's got uh, a lot of heart to it. And it's going to be at, at Tribeca and AFI uh, in June. And I hope people like it. It's called The First Step. Yeah, I think a lot of people do like it. A lot of people also, I think, uh, when they watch it, will be taken aback about uh, seeing you so friendly with Trump and his team. Um, and, and what do you say about that? Well, look, that, uh, that's what it takes. Uh, unfortunately, uh, if, you, if you really care about the people at the bottom, I mean, the people who are in prison, uh, the people who are growing up with nothing in Appalachia, in the hood, Native American reservations, um, neither political party does much for those people most of the time. And for me, I put those communities and those people above politics. And I'll work with or against anybody to help them. And the great thing about it was, um, you, know, I, you know, disagree with the Trump administration on 99 things, but we found that one thing and we got something done. And as a result, everybody from, from Bernie Sanders to Joe Biden to, to Donald Trump for the first time in my life all ran for office saying we need to improve the criminal justice system. So not only did we free tens of thousands of people, we also made the political system more responsive. And I'll take the heat for doing that every single time. Yeah. So Kim Kardashian is studying law. She's in your documentary and became an apprentice with your organization. How is she doing with her studies? Yeah, she's, uh, listen, she's doing amazing. I mean, I think she has, has used her platform to help people uh, behind bars. You know, her dad was a lawyer, and she always wanted to be a lawyer. And so she decided, you know, once, she's, once she got a taste of what she could do using her platform, using her brain, uh, you know, she, she hasn't let up. So I think she's going to be an unbelievable attorney. And she's already, one, I think, one of the best advocates that we have in criminal justice. Yeah, it's fantastic what you're doing. The First Step is premiering at Tribeca Film Festival in June. And uh, everybody should be involved with this because we do have to change the, uh, that system. Van, thanks so much for spending time with us. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God! God!